mentioned about closing two lanes. Actually, we're keeping two lanes yeah, at right. least keeping open, keeping two lanes open in each direction. Yeah, I understand. So, oh. what's going to be the revenue? More particular, during the time that you walk out to school and pick that to meet your time frame when traffic is really bad there with the current revenue. I agree. I mean, I will be standing here lying to you if I tell you you're not going to feel it and everything is fine. It's not going to be fine. You're going to have backups, you're going to have congestions. And it's this is the nature of the beast. Once you have a major construction of this magnitude, there is no way that you're not going to see impact. I mean, we tried with our worksite traffic control plan to mitigate, but these are not 100% perfect. Uh, there will be some adjustment later that we have to do. We might have to prohibit certain movements if we see traffic using uh, residential streets to bypass. Uh, but we don't know that until it happens. And we don't want to go now prohibiting left, left, and, left and right and, 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 and inconvenient a lot of people. And we don't know what's going to happen. I mean, Throughout our, I've been working on a bridge project now for over 10 years with Bureau of Engineering. We shut down the bridge. We took out the bridge in Studio City, Colfax Bridge, which is the heart of Studio City, Ventura Boulevard. We took it out for over two years, Colfax Avenue. And we had to do a lot of detours and we worked out with communities and we went and listened to them and we had community meetings actually inside. CBS studios on a monthly basis, and when we had to uh, inject uh, uh, new items or new mitigations, we always did it. Uh, the same case here, we're going to hear, but there's no way for me, I can, uh, or any traffic engineer, would be able to solve all the problems by just installing a sign or painting uh, uh, pavement mark. You're going to have congestions, you're going to have backups. And what we're hoping is that some of the commuters will avoid the area so the locals will be able to have more usage of the, of the road and you won't be delayed, hopefully. area is not going to help either. Let me answer the first part of the question. The environmental document 
um, there are different levels of the environmental document. For this project, is um, negative neck deck, which is ne negative declaration, uh, uh, which mitigated mitigated negative neck deck. Um, that is the level of the environmental document that was determined in the city for the CEQA and for the NEPA, which is the state level. Um, that was um, that's, that is the level of the environmental document. Not every project required a full blown environment um, EIR EIS document. Okay, so we did have the environmental document, which required a number of studies that we did. One of the studies is traffic studies. Um, the other is um, um, I think there are a number of studies. I think aesthetic uh, HPSR, which is a historic property survey report. So there are various studies that required for that level of the environmental document. So to answer your question. We did have the environmental document that was adopted by the council office in 2004, so it was approved. We did have an approved project. So how do you, um, how do you answer the question of our question? How are you going to be affected by the land plan being covered? And it is going to be in the traffic. Now, let me say this. Uh, typically, traffic will increase everywhere in the city. We live in a major city, so you know, traffic increase everywhere in the city. Now. Um, for your questions on specifically on truck traffic. Like I say, this project, we are maintaining the secondary highway when we're done with the project. Uh, Huntington and Soto still secondary highway. We're not changing the classifications. If secondary highway allow traffic today, that will allow traffic tomorrow and after the project is done. So we're not changing, we're not changing the truck routes. Um, and as far as truck, uh, we're not prohibited truck routes also. If truck allowed to drive on Huntington Drive today, it will be allowed to drive tomorrow. But they can't go to the bridge in the middle. No, yes, you still can drive on Huntington North, go to, uh, to um, the, the Soto. The vertical uh, line, as you say. Only under that connector. I mean, that so can't go into the right. Soto or Huntington or Mission. They can go to the bridge. The bridge, the, the bridge to Huntington. The bridge is that, the way. Okay, thank you so much for coming out tonight. I know uh, your time is very valuable. Um, our technical team will still be here. I will be here if you have any public outreach questions, and I'd be happy to stay and answer those. Um, Evelyn French, back in, in the back, she's also part of our outreach team. She speaks Spanish. If you'd rather speak in Spanish or English, too, she can speak English. And um, if you have specific detour questions, um, Bert Bear will be over here, as will the technical team, and um, they can give you specific information about where you live and what your questions are. And thank you again.